Hey, it's Tanya, and I just wanted to say yay! I am on the team for another term, so I'm very pleased with that. So there will be more of these weekly sketch challenges posted on my channel for another six months at least. So yeah, as you saw there very briefly, there was the sketch. It will be in the Facebook forum for the Hip Kit Club, and I am using the August kits. So this is my first layout using them, and it came with these gorgeous frames. I stand to be corrected, but I think the frames are exclusive. Pretty sure they are. If not, then they are from Kim Watson's... Actually, I think that's what they are. I think they're from Kim Watson's new collection with Pretty Little Studio. But all those details are on the website, so you can go and check it out and see what I am using. And yeah, I had this idea of, of first sort of following the sketch by by using these frames because they're really really pretty and I do faff around with it quite a bit actually <laughs> before I come up with an arrangement that I am happy with uh, you wouldn't think it'd be so hard because I mean a square is a square and if you put a square with another square it, uh, it it's got to get together but I think uh, the I know it seems silly but I still find when I have the camera on that uh, the brain. The brain kind of turns off sometimes when the camera's on and, and as soon as I turn that camera off and I put the things together it's like chop chop and the design comes together ever so quickly and uh, but when I turn the camera on it's not so easy which is why I am faffing around. <laughs> but I will get there eventually. And I left it in because I wanted to show you, you know, the whole process, my thought process behind it and uh, how I eventually end up with the arrangement that I do. And the photograph is of my two daughters because that is, you know, one of my favorite topics to uh, scrapbook. And yeah, they are, they're getting bigger and bigger. Well, I mean, not, not, you know, not literally otherwise uh, I'll be in trouble, but uh, they're getting older. <laughs> Jessica's going to be 24 next month and Tamsin is going to be 21 next year. So yeah, I am, I am the mother of adults. Yeah, I don't know when that happened, but it did. And can I say that I am having as much fun scrapbooking them as I did when they were little? Uh, that has not changed at all. Well, I suppose it wouldn't because I am a scrapbooker at heart. But uh, yeah, you sometimes think to yourself, well, what am I going to scrapbook when my kids are older? And uh, fortunately, mine still love to have their photos taken. In fact, they're a little obsessed with it. So anywhere we go, oh, there I was giving myself a thumbs up. <laughs> Finally I got <laughs> finally I got those frames to look like something I wanted them to look like. Uh but yeah, so uh anywhere we go where you know it, it looks semi pretty, they are out there with their makeup on saying, Come on mom, take a photograph. So uh I am very grateful for that. I am not moaning at all. And there you go. So there I finally got an arrangement that I'm super super happy with and now I'm going to get all sorts of the bits and bobs that come in these kits and I'm gonna get them on. But I'm gonna first uh, go with my title because that's generally how I put my layouts together is I will put the photo down and either layer behind the photo or you know do a bit of that and then I will concentrate on my title because that to me is uh, one of the one of the more fun parts of, of embellishing a layout is, is super fun but I find putting together a title really really fun because I inevitably use whatever pre-made words have come in the kits and I try and see if I can make it into a sentence or a title that uh, makes sense to me and conveys you know the feeling of the uh, the feeling of the moment and I love that grateful word and I really really love this font this sort of scripty font super super pretty I do off camera outline it because it does kind of blend into the background a little bit so I take a very thin uh, what is it a micron pen I have a 0 0.05 uh, thinness I don't know the technical term for it and so, uh, <laughs> so I outline the, the and uh, that does help it pop. You might be able to see it in the stills. And yeah, these are super fun. These kits tend to be more sort of autumnal. I love that word. I don't, we don't really say it here much. Mainly probably because autumn doesn't last very long in, 
<laughs> in Cape Town. We kind of go from from summer to winter and then back to summer again and don't really get long autumns and and that kind of thing. But yeah, these the August kits that have an autumnal theme to them, but I love them because they're they're not overly the, the colors are so bright in this in these kits particularly this this one i'm stumbling over my words because my brain doesn't want to engage and give me words um i i think i might be getting my husband's cold which is terribly generous of him and not something that i'm terribly uh friendly to him about at the moment but anyway yeah so so they're bright bright colors and uh, so it's it's fine for our uh, going into uh, summer here yeah, hopefully it's flipping cold today but um, hopefully summer's around the corner and these butterflies they are from Vicky Booten's collection I forget the name but again as I said you can go and check it out on the Hip Kit Club's website they are super super fun they're quite dimensional and you can lift up the up the wings wings butterflies have wings you can lift up the wings and you know give a bit more dimension to your layout they really really are beautiful and so I'm having I'm just putting everything that I love on this layout I'm just going absolutely wild with all the embellishments and having a fantastic time doing it so while you watch me put all these lovely goodies on I am going to speak quickly about oh and I love this these trees Oh, and the trees, and then there's mushrooms or toadstools. Oh, it's just, it's just, uh, it's just lovely. <laughs> anyway, back to the weekly sketch, which is hosted in the Hip Kit Club Facebook group. You don't have to be a member of the Kit Club to join in. You just have to be a member of the Facebook forum or group, as I said. And yes, every Friday a thread is posted where the sketch is shown and what the design team girls have done with the sketch. That's also put there. And then you get a week to do your own interpretation on the sketch. And yes, you can use whatever you have in your stash. All the kits, it doesn't, it doesn't really matter. We're just happy that you play along. And you post your layout there or your project and you are then eligible for the $10 coupon code which you can then redeem on the Hip Kit Club's online store. So yeah, and I say it over and over again, you have to be in it to win it, and yes, it's super fun. Please come along and, and join in. We have a ton of inspiration on a Friday, not just in the Facebook forum. We also have the Hip Kit Club YouTube channel and the blog and the main main shop page on Facebook for Hip Gear Club. So the all of the Friday projects are based on the sketch. So uh, yeah, I repeat myself, tons of inspiration. And here I'm doing something which I often do and I love doing is I am framing my layout because I did it on white cardstock and that very, very pretty paper which I am gutting because even though I do have a second one of it because I get the pattern paper add-on, it's just too beautiful to waste. <laughs> So I am gutting it and then I am going to put my layout down on there. I did briefly contemplate sewing around it, but uh, oh, I was a, a little bit lazy and so I didn't. And also sewing me is not always, we're not always, uh, you know, we don't always get on very well. <laughs> So it doesn't. I didn't want to ruin my layout because I really love how it came out. It's a slightly different style for me. I'm. I tend to be a very sort of linear, simple scrapbooker, and this one is just. Oh, it's just you know. There's layers and and it's sort of artsy. And yeah, I tried to get those those stickers on, but that wasn't going to work. And then I'm going to try and get some of these on, but that's not going to work either. And then I'm going to discover another toadstool, which I'm going to put next to the butterfly on the left-hand side of the tree, which I'm going to just love. <laughs> Hopefully that's going to happen now. Is it going to happen now? Oh yeah, no, I was trying to find my stuff. Yeah, here we go. So I'm going to have a look at all the things I've got left, see what else I can put on. I'm going to discover the toadstool and be ever so happy with life. And uh, yeah, and then stills are going to come up and that will be it. So I want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. And I do hope you will join us in the Facebook forum or group. I don't know what the correct term is. And... <laughs> I hope you come along and join in and share with us what you make. 
and yeah check out the kits they are beautiful and uh, yeah september's been released so you can check those out too so i uh, hope you have a fantastic day and please if you haven't already like and if you haven't subscribed do subscribe because it would be lovely if you did obviously and if you have a comment pop it below i do enjoy reading them and i hope you have a fantastic day and there's my toadstool and yeah so uh, uh yeah have a wonderful day and we will chat again soon bye bye